So take a look at this wild video from over the weekend. Hundreds of migrants released by border authorities at a San Diego bus stop. As Southern California continues to grapple with a massive migrant surge. Kate Monroe is running to represent California's 49th congressional district, and she joins us now. Um, just put it in perspective, how bad has it gotten down there? Um, it, it's got it's absolutely ridiculous 500 to 1000 people illegally just walking across our border every single day, you know, Texas shored up their position and then people will find the path of least resistance and here they find themselves in San Diego. I've driven out by the border, hundreds of them waiting for us to take them to the airport. I was at the transit center yesterday, tons of Chinese migrants telling me they were flying to New York. So it's bad in San Diego. Yeah, so we actually have uh, some footage of you patching up a hole with razor wire. Tell us about that. And, and you bought it yourself. Why? Well, you know, as the CEO of Vetcom, I help veterans every single day. And I've been on the news talking about veterans getting deprioritized behind migrants. And they're taking their spots in VA hospitals. They're getting their funds um, for all the homeless funds. And I said, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm not going to sit idly by and say, especially as a candidate, that I stand for closing the border. I decided to go stand at the border and actually close it. I wanted to go and do something and show the nation that you can actually go and do something. You don't have to sit around and wait for the people that are never going to come. Talk about leading from the front. Uh, every single uh, state that we go to, we found with voters that the border immigration is the number one issue. How do you think it's going to impact not only your race, but the presidential race? Oh, I think it's going to be the number one topic on on the minds of every single voter across the nation. People used to just think of places like San Diego and Texas and Florida as border states, um, border cities. But that's absolutely not the case because they're getting on planes. They're getting bussed all over the country. And I think that it's a real and present danger. And people are taking it a lot more serious. I know here in San Diego with the migrants um, on our news all day, every day, it is the top issue and across the country i think you're going to see whoever people remember being safe under which would be president trump i think mm -hmm. he's going to do real good on this border issue yeah it was his signature issue when he ran for office yes. in 2016 um, and then 2020 came uh, along and joe biden did every single thing that he put into place and no surprise our border is out of control ma'am thanks so much for joining the program we really appreciate it thanks for having me you got it I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.